Hey everybody, Radaman here. Thanks for tuning in to episode 47 of The Wendigos, which streamed live on Twitch September 12th. No changes to the rules or goals in this series as of late, but a little change log that our Wendigo allies, the Algonquin Wendigo, will have traits befitting them. Alright, let's get going. Dedicated crafting room wins out a little bit. So the issue with that is I already kind of have a crafting room. So what that goal to me means more is having a, um, putting our kitchen somewhere else. I don't know. I actually don't really know how to have a dedicated crafting room. Because it would mean either moving our crafting here and trying to heat this sp space. Which is just going to be really, really difficult. That's a lot of power. Not that I have, I don't have the power to spare. Um, if I was to separate it out, I'd really just put a wall between the two, is all I would do. But all that would serve to do is to reduce the, um, how impressive my dining room is. It's actually kind of just a, a bad, like there's no harm in what I'm doing right now. Because the thing is, even though this is classified as a workshop, they have an unbelievably impressive dining room, and when they use it as a rec room, they have an unbelievably impressive uh, rec room as well. Um, who's, uh, these guys are doing recreation. Actually, I, I don't even see the, um, the recreation room being used. So maybe it's not being classified as a rec room. I don't know. That's a good question for me to, to, to answer at some point. But yep, you all said it was a goal pole, so just reorganize it. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Um, so I think the first thing I'm going to do is, obviously I'm going to want to have my meals closest to where the meals are stored. That just makes sense. So I'm going to start moving these bunkrete shelves that have storage of stuff away to separate them out to make room. But, uh, game is seizing up. What is going on? Why are you thinking so hard? Hello, game. Uh, Rim World. <laughs> A big raid? I don't know. It usually doesn't freeze quite like this. Hmm. Did anyone buy a big rid? Looks like Pink Link did. But usually, usually the computer can handle big enough raids. I might have to save load. I'm going to give it another second. Or more than a second, obviously. Taking a look at the task manager. It says not responding. But it's not actually using... Oh, you know what? It mem dumped. Yeah. Is dead, Jim. It fully died. It's not using any memory anymore, so. Task died. Well, welcome to the new stream. It's just a Yoda cam 24 7. Of him undulating in my arms. It's exciting. The surgery catastrophically failed and blew up my CPU. Uh, something like that. Hey, did anyone see what was in the uh, the load there? Don't clip it, is the sure fire way of it being clipped. There was a uh, there was something in that load order that uh, yeah, <laughs> a pure Yoda cam. All right, so what did I lose? What did I lose? Uh, toolkit core, you are going to need to be reconnected. Don't kill. Don't die. So, back to the goal. Alright, so first things first, there is some, um, I don't think I worry too much about the heat here, so there's some physical space that I can reclaim in these, in, in these yonder hallways, um, that I'm gonna do that. No, you know what, I'm not gonna do that there. That's still a good bottleneck. Alright, 
So that's opening up some area for, for important storages that are just not in the typical storage. Um, we'll reroute power so it's not so ugly. Put down the floors, same reason. And then these utility shelves are just going to be moved for space. Then this whole wall thing can go. This can be one continuous barn, that's fine. Yeah, the, uh, the generators here do take up a lot of space, but they also produce heat. So the point of them is twofold. Oh, and they also generate light. Um, so I'm not using them for light, obviously, but they, they are generating heat. The uh, chem fuel and fire generators um, they don't, I thought they said it, but they, yeah, they do produce heat. So that's kind of why they're in the, uh, the heart of the base for their, their heat generation. All right. So that frees up some space. Let's get these shelves out of the way too. Uh, we got some yaks from Eisenhorn. Yak, yakety yak. All right, the uh, comms console could move. It's kind of an expensive thing to build and move around, but uh, I'm going to do it just to put a better area here. And then the biofuel refinery, I think I'm going to do the same thing, but before I move that, I'm going to want to copy and paste, so I'm going to I'm gonna double it up. Um, All right, the fat benches are really expensive to move because they're a costly object to build. So I'm not eager to do too much of that, but y'all voted that this should be the goal pole, so I'm gonna do as I see fit. M, you're confused because of Alzheimer's. Don't worry, in a few months, your brain will be as good as, well, as good as a 65 year old brain can be. Shots fired, shots fired. So if I'm moving the uh, fat bench, I'm going to want to double it up. Oh, you know what? Actually, fat benches... Only make components now. So maybe not double it up. But we do have a big raid to deal with. Seems quiet. I agree, Jones. So who do we have? We have a uh, crown. Mixed crown. Uh, all right, so whatever you do, M, do not wander outside. It would be very, very bad. All right, everybody, shelter. I mentioned doubling the bench earlier. The prosthetics bench, may, uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'll double up the fat bench. Just because uh, uh, advanced components is a bottleneck, and they do take a while to construct. Oh, more chunking. Come on. RimWorld, what are you doing to me today? I already have two art benches, so that's not an issue. I wish we could deep dive in, like, the bug log, because I don't know what's going on. Okay, RimWorld. I don't even see you in my process list. <laughs> what? So apparently I'm not running... Oh, no, there it is. I know there's a bug log in dev mode, but I can't get into dub mode if the game's frozen. 
there is and and when streaming I can't really look at the text log either um Hmm. I'm curious if there's a common thread. I'm trying to look through some of the uh, bug logs right now. If there's a common thread of um, a certain event or something being purchased. It's kind of hard to track these down in real time. But if I'm going to continue crashing, it's obviously going to be an issue. Alright. First things first. Cancel. Dumping the log out to the mod chat for posterity. Hey, Danger to Society. Welcome back to the stream. We are watching nothing because my game keeps crashing. Uh, <laughs> so, hi Raiders. You, you're you welcome to the black screen that is uh, the lack of a game. <laughs> it will be a second before I get back to, uh, to the game here, but um, Yoda, thanks you for your raid. I was playing Subnautica. I tuned in a little bit earlier. <laughs> Sorry, I load the screen pretty quick, so... This new patch is finicky? I'm not sure if it's a new patch or not. I haven't made that determination yet. Let me check my log files. It also could just be... Hmm. No, I don't see that any specific commands are tanking it. It's a curiosity, that's for sure. But much like all new features, sometimes there's hiccups. So it could be the new patch. I can't say for sure. Uh, so, did we just delete a raid? I do think that is true. Uh, if... Shh. Quiet windows. No. Bad windows. Uh, if uh, the moderators want to send a... What was it? It was a... Uh, well, it no longer exists anymore. But yeah, if you could buy a replacement raid that is of equivalent points... It was for Mr. Johns. Trying to look at the roll. It was a 10k raid. Or a 11k raid. Um, yeah, I just went back. It was a 11k raid. Of course, it can't affect the choices. Or your points was a thousand. Okay. Obviously, the wager will be a little bit. Oh, great. Look, I have to redo this again. Oh... I feel like, um, like Groundhog Day. So I know this was insulating my farms a little bit more, uh, but I don't think it requires that much insulation. I can just throw a heater at it. And that's not going to be too much of a problem. Here's the raid. It's a tribal raid this time, and far more of them. They're also really close to Die here, who might live up to his own name. Latin Deer, you don't. Yeah, you just have stun. You're not a real sidecaster yet. Run, Die, run. Alright, so this one was... It scaled up higher. So it's a more powerful raid. So you're not getting... Um, uh, screwed, I guess. I don't know. But it's doing it again. It's doing the... Uh, hiccupy patch. So was anything just purchased? I don't think so. So what I'm going to do... Let's run a little experiment. I'm not even going to let it hang like it usually does. I'm just going to totally relaunch. I'm not going to launch Toltec Core. It's military aid. 
All right, so quit buying military aid. It is the worst. I'll disable it in the uh, the events. Okay. So there is a common thread there. Military aid breaks it. Yeah, chat directly interacts with the game, sending raids and items, and they even own characters. There's a lot of uh, Twitch to RimWorld integration. Uh, that, But to that end, they are also able to, if certain events are broken, like military aid, they can break the game. Oh, also, every time I have to reload, it um, resets the item list. So some items... Oh, all these new... Um, Bray, Cape, they were all hypothetically purchasable. They're not on the items list, but um, they're not supposed to be. So we'll go. Gunlink was the new uh, helmet thing that I was thinking of. It's like a headset that allows you to uh, shoot better. Maybe we'll maybe we'll raid to find a Gunlink during this stream. Prosthetics table should be off. Uh, what else? These are broken. They always show up. The crown, tech cores, jump packs are broken. They always show up too. And that's the item list. Basically, Trash trying to kill me. Yeah, well, they're also trying to send me help too. Actually, what crashed the game was the help, ironically. So the military aid, which is like allies that show up to help back you up. Um, that was what was murdering the game. So, all right, now that I've sorted that out, Uh, we're connected, and I get to do the same thing a third time. Bill Murray, I feel your pain. Hey, it's a raid! Oh, third time's a charm, and this time it's a bunch of scythers! Oh, good, 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 good. Actually, no, these scythers should be fine. We got some raid music coming on. Glitch. Oh, good, good, good. Glitch your art is already out of here. Glitch is going to pit some of them against themselves. I've got my shooters ready. Cruzio, I'm going to have you have a front row seat. Actually, you're going to step outside the walls so that you're not, you don't have any line of sight problems blowing these little dudes up. All right, I should have been paying attention. That's all right. Glitch is invisible. <laughs> all right, where is there? I guess this is the most dense. Oh, I don't. Okay, so I accidentally aimed it. Right, well, this will be interesting. I accidentally aimed it on um on a scyther. Which then triggered on himself. So who's close to help? That could help. Because uh, I could also just like... Sylvanti is very close. Alright, Sylvanti, you go help. Uh, we have a second raid from Jamestown. From the North Mixed Weapons... Uh, I like how Glitch is invisible and, like, just whooping them. You know what? Uh, you are going to... I think it needs to be someone that has um, jetpacks to help. Because otherwise, it's just Scythers are going to be in the way. Uh, so who has jetpacks? Soulblader, get out here. Chelsea, get out here. Angrax, get out here. Alright, so he's going to lose invisibility pretty soon. But, uh, I'm pretty good at about clutching saves. Okay, so here he is. Okay, I'll skip yourself. Good, that buys me a little bit of time. I actually might be able to just uh, outrun them. 
because I don't think he... Yeah, he took just light bruising, but he's still way faster than the average Scyther. So, cool. A problem that sorted itself out. Uh, Soul Blader, you're dismissed. Angrax, you're dismissed. Chelsea, you're dismissed too. Don't worry, you're old. Your old man is fine. Now, of course, if I had actual skip rather than chaos skip, that would have been so bad. Because, yeah, he's... He might be a bit of an old man, but he is fast as hell. So, they can't even catch him. Alright, so, it's cool that military aid is off the list. Now, I'm not constantly crashing. Is nice. It solves the component problem? Well, sort of? It solves the steel problem more than anything else. Okay, there we go. We'll get those moved. Um, the comms console. Oops, I was misclicked. And then the biofuel refinery. And we're not going to break down the old one yet. All right, let's uh, let's get our hands quite dirty by going out there. Uh, any of you cannibals? Not that it would really matter all that much. No, you're not. Europa and Fox. Oh, Foxy, you really should have stayed down. Speaking from experience, uh, Silk, so you're dead now, so. I guess it's better than being killed by us. Scyther's probably a swift de death. Chaos skip. No one has chaos skip? Alright, how about just stun? Yo, Phoenix, you could melee. You do have a massive, massive bayonet on the end of your uh, gun there, but you know, whatever. So who's got the who's got the berserk uh, cast? <laughs> Vertical pulse. Like Mex can puke. I think it's just it's Sylvanti, yeah. Yo! Don't face tank. Now oh, she's deciding to face tank. Alright, well, hold your ground. And done. Maybe not the most elegant, but it's not supposed to be that elegant if we're, you know, monsters. Savanti so the Undying, she didn't get hurt as much as Ox did. Ox took Took a few good hits, a few good slices. His leg came five six of the way off. <clears throat> Which for a Wendigo is just foreplay. <laughs> I mean, it's sort of true, right? Alright, so the kitchen fix is still in. That's good. Uh this weird bump in the hallway is no longer needed. So this light will go um, here. Tis but a scratch. Exactly. Let's run power. I don't have a lot of steel, but whatever. Alright, 
move the wall or move the bench. Come on, Angry X. Deliver. All right, so now we have a little bit larger kitchen. I'll expand the high priority storages. Uh, right here, we're also going to want uh, one for second leaves. Tea leaves. Critically important that psycho leaves get put there. Marriage is on, Soul Blader and M. All right. I think you agreed to it, M, because of the uh, dementia. Just, just saying. And then uh, let's make T as a forever take to temporary meals when you make it. Done. All right, heat wave is over. And here's another vote up top. Thrombos, Flash Storm, or Party. So I wonder why Military Aid was uh, tanking up the game. I don't know. So we still need more steel for the Biofu Refinery. We're going to wait on that. That's obviously freeing up a lot of uh, space here, which will be good. More space for the smithing. Ox, once you heal up, I'm going to send you on a trade run, so I hope you heal quick. Because we have enough to buy a tech core. And I think maybe I'll raid uh, some royals in the meantime. Sylvanti's fully healed. Moro, how is that coming along? You are inspired for how many more? Five more days? We're going to really have to push a, push ahead with this. Uh, recruit from Toxic for Wolf. And recruit for Teddy. There's no one to recruit. Also, what's weird is Inspired... Well, I guess... What's weird is, like, um, Teddy is not even a Wendigo. Not one of our Wendigos. He's a guest Wendigo. So if he Inspired recruited someone, he'd be re recruiting them for, like, not our colony, which is just very strange. It's just a strange thought that you could have a, an inspiration to for your guests. Maybe that even gets patched out sometime in the future. It would not surprise me. Um, so you guys sent me... Th oh, that's a lot of Thrumbo! Oh, oh, oh yes. This will make some money. I hope they don't all get pissed. Um, marriage spot. Yeah, that's a good point. So, miscellaneous marriage spot here. Party spot should still be here. Oop, that cut the temp crafting in half. Okay, I don't want all these to, uh, to go psycho on me at the same time. Nope, it's all of them. All right, all right. Oh, okay. They're so mentally broken, they won't even listen to me. Cool. The hunt is on. Come chase me. See, one of the other beautiful things is we've got uh, the the bone cleats, which makes us faster in the snow, and uh, all of our guys are more or less mechanically advantaged, let's say. Uh, so that it's going to be very hard to run them down. Actually, I don't want to build this until the biofuel refinery is gone. Alright, Reds, you are going to flip-flop this door and this door. And then Cruzio, you're going to flip-flop these doors. Welcome to hell, Thrombo. Welcome to hell. 
The other ones got kind of lost. Uh oh. <laughs> Alright, M in the middle of a firefight got confused about what we're fighting for and decides to wander around. Yeah, this is what Alzheimer's is. Oops, nope. Don't arrest. Alzheimer's is such a dangerous thing to have, especially on a combatant. Okay, lame. The other Thrumbo are not following us, so we'll go to them. I'm throwing caution to the wind and telling the animals that they can leave, because I'm just about done murdering these Thrumbo. Oh, yep. There they go. All right. Finish them off. <clears throat> Who is hypothermia? Wow. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's pretty cold out, and they're guests, so they're not wearing warm clothing. That makes sense. So, animals, I'm going to say stop here, and let's put a door here to keep the barn nice and confined and, and warmer. Missed the live one on the left of the... Uh, I'd probably pass back out. I'm not all that worried about that. They were mortally wounded. There. Wildlife. Yep, they're all hunted now. <laughs> Inspired taming. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so we're uh, we're grinding up the uh, the scythers for steel. I think you should be able to force wear parkas as long as they don't replace guest gear. Uh, yeah, but I don't have junk parkas for them to wear. The only parkas I have are like really really good wool ones. That I could force wear, but then, you know, I'd forget to have them take it off. Just like the Zeus hammer that they currently have on. Pink Link, thanks for the component. So we have another exoskeleton suit. Moro, you have nothing on. No bionics or whatever, so you're going to get it. What do Thrombos eat? They are dendrovores. They eat trees. They do not eat corpses. In fact, they don't eat meat of any kind, which makes them not a valid uh, pet for us to have. If you're ever curious about diet... Oh, well, it doesn't show their diet anymore when they're dead. I don't think I have a living one. But yeah, they, they eat trees and seeds, basically. Merle was doing art. Actually, the additional manipulation from the exoskeleton suit for our artist is going to be kind of nice. They'll do more art quicker. The kibble ride is a question. Uh, yeah, but that's not that's not the question. The question is the absolute fast rule not to be violated in any regard whatsoever, not for any animal, is that all of our pets must be obligate corpse eaters, no exceptions. So if the animal does not eat corpses. They are, and will never be, Wendigo. So any herbivore animal is not um, eligible to be Wendigos as a result of their diet. As a rule of the series. It's literally one of the only four rules that we have. So. They're out. Exceptions will not be made. Uh, so I'm going to move this bone relief over here and do the same thing symmetrically on the other side. However, their horns 
fetch a pretty high price, so that's always nice. Oh, great. Our artist is now woozy. Not the only one wandering around clueless as to what's going on. Crunch, crunch, crunch. You'll understand the uh, the redesign here in a second. It's gonna be a really small bedroom. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to change that around a little bit. That's alright. <clears throat> we'll, we'll nudge some stuff. Look at the teeny little cubby, cubby bedrooms. Don't worry, we're fixing it. We're just making the bedrooms even uglier. It's a downgrade. Come on. You guys, stop going outside if you're going to constantly get hypothermia. It's funny and all the first time, but it gets a little old. So the purpose of this is so that we can move the multi-analyzer over to the high-tech research bench and not block passageway. Uh, this also allows us to um, increase the size of the hospitals a little bit too, which is kind of nice. So they're rectangular rather than whatever shape existed before. And then I will uh, I'll fix the bedrooms a little bit as well. All right, so this is Wolf and Sylvanti's bed. So let's assign them accordingly. Wolf and Sylvanti. Uh, Ox is healed again, and this was uh, Pink Link and uh, Angrax. Or just Pink Link? Wait. What? Oh, because Pink Link and Reds never got back together. Pink Link is, you're, you're, you're just all alone. Right, right. The divorce. Me forgot. And then Chelsea Knox's bed gets, uh, bedroom gets opened up a little bit. We're going to do the same on the other side as well. All right, Masterful Midget and uh, Teddy, you are going to be set to home. So you don't venture away so far and get super hypothermic. Making some adjustments. So this was M and Soul Blader. And then Reds, you are gonna switch with Glitch. So this is gonna be Glitch's new bedroom. All right. And Reds, you single too? Yep, okay.
Uh, Psylink. Time for that priest to start earning his keep. Latin deer. Upgrade. Right, so this is Red's bedroom. And then this uh, frees up some space for these bedrooms not to be so oof. It's not perfectly egalitarian in terms of space, but, you know, it's better. Uh, words of joy. Oh, come on. Words of joy. What kind of priest are you? What kind of Wendigo priest? You're a hack. I'm calling it. I'm calling the, uh, the Wendigo Union to report you for uh, Wendigo fraud. All right, let's copy over these cues. I believe they weren't um, glitch, glitch. Okay, so these cues should not be glitch specifically. They could be any smither. Uh, we'll want steel on one. So this shelf was for just calcium. Polymer, what was this one? Advanced components, so this still needs to be near the bench. And gold needs to be near the bench as well. So we'll try to organize this so it's a little nicer. All right, we are. So these advanced component cues get pasted over. They don't have a specific crafter. We'll just set a minimum skill of, let's say, 13. <clears throat> the chair, it really probably should be the most comfortable chair or one of the most comfortable chairs. So let me head hunt. The, the chairs that get set on the most should be the, the ones dedicated towards uh, uh, for quality. Thanks, Phoenix, for sitting on it so quickly. Actually, let's set the benches up like this. And then the concept will be trying to pile uh, the tool cabinets as close to all of the crafting uh, benches as we can to have everything nice and compressed and centralized. But I'll work that on that in a second. Um, so we got beer, sandstone from, from Dub, and more beer from Malodius and Molly. Well, thanks. Thank you, thank you. So the chemfield power generators, let's hope we don't have to move them around because they're kind of expensive to break down constantly. Uh, yeah, I did break a sec second one down instead of moving it. Oh, well. The uh, multi-analyzer. So the prosthetics table and the machining table require pretty similar ingredients. So the hope is to put them sort of close proximity to one another. Um... Hmm. Alright, so things get moved around. Similar tables are trying to be grouped together. So this light probably needs to move. I'll just put right behind the chair.
All right, the question is, are these chem fuel power generators needed? Let me power them off and see what it does to my power grid. How's that for a test? Because we have a lot of renewable power over here, but that doesn't necessarily... Yeah, right? At this very moment, it looks like they're needed. It could just be because we're in a low uh, wind scenario. But I think our battery's about to bottom out and brown out. So, yes, they are, they are needed. The short and quick answer. Alright, so these benches are all set up. Let's get the tool benches set here. I don't know what to do with this like little 2 by one bench. But the old fab bench can be broken down. All of these uh, textile moved over. And here's another a little vote up there. Smithy. Let's move this heater to here, which is kind of dead space. Make sure to whisper the butt. It's a good, good reminder. All right, I don't really have a good place to store dead mechs. We'll have to work on that. Uh, we also have some incomplete flooring for these bedrooms. These, these bedrooms are, I mean, these ones are not quite the size that they ought to be. But the expense of moving over everything one over is pretty negligible given that these bedrooms are still impressive. And I don't think Wendigos of all creatures would matter. Oh, you were hoping for Skip? The silent message? Let's hope for Skip again. Uh, I don't, okay. Latin deer. This would be the one that would grant skip because it's his third. I just need to find the Psylink itself. So die. Let's see. Psylink gained. Words of love. Latin deer, what is going on? You have words of joy, words of love. That's 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 what we're teaching you in Psylink school? Oh my god. My brain. It hurts. Skip is level 4? Oh, it used to be level 3, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, Alright, art. Oh, uh, what's... What, what just won the vote? Because whoever just won the vote... Um... I think just kind of crashed the game again, which would be another event not to ever trigger. Invasion? Uh, what kind of invasion? Because if my guess would be it's trying to spawn like insects, and internal void, you're probably not going to get that toolkit money. Anytime the game crashes, you don't get granted anything, so. Um, I think a mod will have to gift you some coin. It only said invasion, so my guess is it picked an invasion that isn't valid. Again, don't redeem currency when the game's not running. Really, truly, you will, won't get the coin. You're literally just burning <laughs> channel points for nothing. If the bot ain't on, the coin ain't redeemed. They're, they have to be linked together. Um... Does that mean we get to re-roll Words of Love? It's... I don't know when the last autosave was. I might... For next week, unless there's some hot fixes for the toolkit, I might roll back the version. Because having, like, a crown and a beret and a cape is not worth the... 
absolute ridiculous amount of crashing that I've been experiencing. I don't know if they're necessarily related, but I can only assume that they are. Um, if I have to redo the workshop, at least I'll, I'm almost certainly going to. At least the uh, the benefit there is I know how I was laying it out, and it wouldn't be it wouldn't take very much time to fix it. Yeah, something in the latest patch is just just killing it. So if you see another uh, invasion um, vote event, don't vote. Yep, so a lot of this has to be redone. C'est la vie. Let's get that done. All right, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna vocalize what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna rush to swap it. Oh, actually, you know, let's put the scab bench over there. Maybe I even have a chance to make it better. Oops. And these are close enough, yep, these are close enough to pick up the tool cabinets. Uh, who's my best constructor? Still Ox? Well, I gotta say, if anything, it is a lot more spacious. Move the dead power? Uh, I will. So let's get the core connected now that I've fixed things. And temporarily save just so that it's not uh, a continual problem. That looks a lot cleaner. Yeah, no, you guys are right. This was overdue, and it looks IMO lovely. And I still have a little bit more shelf space. Actually, I'm going to put that back. Uh, so the textile shelves need to move over again. Posture check from Dancing Lucifer. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. What do you guys think? Nice, laid out. So next thing would be more shelves for more storage. Maybe I'll, I'll, uh, I'll lay it out like this. That's a little bit more convenient. I'm trying to think what else we're going to need here. Um, oh, uh, the hospitals. Yeah. Let's fix that ugliness. I think I have to refix the... Yeah, I have to refix these bedrooms. Both art benches are getting the toolkit, but uh, the... the Let's see. No, they're not both getting the cabinets. So let's move them over a little bit again. We'll just keep fiddling with it until it works the way we want. All right, so the hospitals are getting a little oomph. And then what we can also do is add some more um, shelves for the prosthetic storages that we want. All right, so let's see if this is 112. Yep, it's 112. Is this 112? Yep, everything's 112. Nice. Uh, so these storages here, let's clear. 
this one is going to be for the wool. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, it's not. Uh, this is for jade. Manufactured or raw resource jade. And then this one could be a secondary steel. Or actually, uh, let's do this one for slag. Strangely enough, some of the things that we make scab benches on require slag. Like the feral mail requires slag chunks. So we'll put slag here. All right. So the idea now would be to have bonecrete doors maybe here and here. And bonecrete wall. Um, I think what I'll do is... Actually, move the t that. The temp crafting is going to move over here. And then the pillars I'm going to install here and here. Although they're not going to be needed. Uh, maybe I'll install them over here. They're not really going to be needed because I, I'll have an additional roof. I don't know. We'll, we'll put them like that. And then here are going to go reliefs. Uh, yeah. Okay, that was temporary damage, but that's fine. I knew that was going to happen. So now I have space for a bunch of reliefs to spice up the area. I like it. All right, so let's go and get those reliefs. Chelsea, you are going to make the first one. And Morrow's working on that giant monument. Uh, so the Silink. Let me now that that's done, because I surely you don't want to watch me do that again. We have this chance for a rerolled Silink. If you get words of love. I might brain you, Latin Deer. I'm just warning you. I think it's all words of love because it's all like the lovey dovey stuff because his wife died. He got beckoned. Well, that's not much better than words of love, but whatever. I'll take it. Alright, so now let's go. Oh, yeah, the kit was. No, no, it's just connected up. Another Psylink. All right, let's let's try this shallow gene pool. Come on, smoke pop. Uh, that's okay. If we're fighting mechs, that will come in handy because the um, the turrets can't shoot through smoke, so it could be useful. Alright, it's, uh, it's absolutely bone-chilling in the kitchen now, so I'm going to close the vents and doors because we don't need it so ridiculously cold in here. It just makes keeping the rest of the base warm more difficult, which is not all that necessary. We don't need to do that to ourselves. Latin Deer, you're not pathetic. We just need to go raiding some royalty facilities for... Um, for side casts. Uh, so let's put body bionic prosthetic bionic all of these body parts into these storages. We don't need weapons here. That doesn't make any sense. Um, another thing I could do is some storage here which is the heart of our base. Yeah, let's have the temporary crafting circle around the crafting area. And this is going to be for, like, triple launchers and doomsday launchers. Because uh, they're very easily accessible to everybody. I think what I'm going to do is a temporary bone china wall. Where we'll have one. And then once we have the reliefs, I'll upgrade with the reliefs. So, we'll have three reliefs here. Um, it also means we... 
Oh, no, we actually want to keep the, the floors. So the workshop looks done. We have a little bit more space for some more uh, weapon storage stuff as well. But because of... Um... Here, we'll, we'll move the... No. We'll just leave it like that. You've been watching episode 47 of The Wendigos, which streamed live on Twitch September 12th. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, just go to Rodamont.com for my stream schedule. If you have any questions about The Wendigos, the website Rodamont.com also has an entire page dedicated to information about the series, including mod list and soundtrack, all that stuff. If you have feedback for me, do drop me a line in the comments below. Keeping in mind that there are three hours left of the stream yet to air, I'll catch you all next episode.